Hey guys, this is Luke. So since our 15 hour recap, we've done a whole lot working on prototypes and the robot itself. So we started off by doing a lot of work on the intake, getting that tuned. We ended up making some changes and it does scrape on the ground a little bit. We're still working that out, but we've overcome a lot of challenges in actually collecting the rings. So that's great. That's actually mounted on the robot right now. And we are currently working on the J Hopper as well, getting that on the robot. It's actually made out of Lexan now instead of cardboard. So that's definitely making progress. On side of the wobble goal, we have changed our direction a little bit. Initially, we were thinking something along the lines of the drawer slides making an elevator and able to pick up the wobble goal and place it outside of the field perimeter but we have changed our direction a little bit and decided to experiment more with an arm type of approach and see where that takes us, especially to save some space on packaging as well, making the robot a bit more cohesive overall. On the terms of the shooter, we have switched it down from the one to 27 gear reduction, making it a lot faster and taking up a lot of space to a single motor without an orbital gearbox, making it initially a lot higher in RPM and then that direct drives our shooter wheel. So we're working on getting that placed into the actual robot and then we will send it off to programming and hopefully be done. You have a larger rectangle here, so you have a larger area when you have more than one. When you take one off, you have a smaller area. And so that's how we can, and obviously if you have like nothing there, you got nothing. So that's how you detect if there's zero, one, or four. You'll be